Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of AMC Responds. Today, um, AMC is responding to, um, we are remembering Khalif Browder on the eighth anniversary of his death, which was on June 6, 2020, I'm sorry, 2015. Uh, Khalif was a 22 year old black male who was um, being detained at Rikers Island um, in New York and um, held in um, solitary confinement for a long period of time, like years. And when he was released uh, due to the abuse that he received at Rikers and neglect that he received at Rikers, he um, could not handle it emotionally, mentally, um, and he committed suicide. Khalif's story is not unique in that there are consistently stories of abuse and neglect of inmates that occur at Rikers Island. I watched a video, a uh, documentary um, of some of the daily routines and things that go on in that place and I was just like I was I couldn't even know how to get my words together like I can't get them together now. How we um, supposedly in a civilized society in a country that supposedly you know is uh such a grand place to live in, you know, all citizens can are treated equally and all of that foolishness. How we can have literally thousands of people housed in a place where uh, it is notorious. It's not no one or two cases. Um, it is notorious for the abuse of the inmates there many of whom have not even been to court and been sentenced yet. Um, is a jail where a lot of people are being held to go for sentencing uh, and are being treated like animals. And in some cases worse than animals because some people love their animals more than they do love uh, human beings and especially inmates. But um, statistics show us that because here was a young man, 22 year old man who was arrested for supposedly stealing a book bag. Okay, a book bag. And he was held there for three years without even getting uh, to trial to be sentenced. Three years. Okay. Whatever happened to speedy trials? All right, like the majority of Rikers Island prisoners, Khalif was locked up far too long awaiting trial. And many of these people have mental health challenges, which is why they committed crimes in the first place. Uh, and so while they're being held there, as per usual in a lot of uh, supposedly correctional facilities, they're not being treated uh, like they should be with the correct medications. And so, so there is a medical neglect piece of the uh, abuse and neglect as well. I read that Rikers Island is um, supposed to be closing in 2026, wondering how many more lives will be lost, um, how many more people will be savagely abused and neglected before that happens. Um, but it is known for excessive violence and for abuse and neglect of inmates. It's poorly designed and is known for a culture of violence and code of silence. The people in power know about the culture of violence. They know about the abuse to the inmates, um, but they choose not to say or 
do anything until the light spotlight is sh shined on them. Uh, I think it was just a few weeks ago I read that another inmate died there, I think, believe, um, who had mental health issues and leapt like three stories down to his death inside the jail. It is a humanitarian crisis of epic proportions and definitely needs to be closed. There needs to be something done um, proactively to help those especially with the mental health challenges. It just never ceases to amaze me how our government officials are quick to shut down the medical, the mental health facilities, quick to uh, make it not easily accessible to get help, but are quick to lock people up um, who are suffering in mental health crises and so forth and so on. Um, same with poverty. They don't quickly come up with ways to make money in these poverty-stricken areas, but they're quick to lock people up for committing crimes, uh, many of whom are just trying to survive. So a mother's cry is responding to this. Number one, we are absolutely glad that they are closing Rikers Island. We just wish it was sooner. However, I assume that they are taking this time to try to figure out what to do uh, with the inmates that are there um, because it is definitely a humanitarian crisis there. Many of the inmates are not receiving their medications. They're not, um, the hygiene is bad. There have been like many stories, you can look it up. Just Google Rikers Island Jail in New York. And the stories that you will read will just break your heart and probably, hopefully, piss you off uh, so that you will not be just willing to accept um, what is going on in these places. After Khalif was released after three years, um, where he spent um, two of those three years in solitary confinement, Imagine what that does to the psyche of a person. Upon his release um, in 2015, he was plagued with anguish and trauma from his experience in jail and hung himself in his mother's home. This story supposedly has inspired uh, numerous reforms to the justice system to prevent this tragedy from ever happening again. I'm not really sure what those... Uh, reforms are to the justice system, but uh, they settled um, like $3 million with his family, which I'm sure, you know, finances always help, but they don't bring back uh, Khalif and they don't bring back um, any of the other people who have died at their own hands as a result of the trauma they experienced in that place or the people who have died in Rikers Island as a result of the neglect and abuse. As I said, when you get a chance, you should watch the video. Uh, there are several videos out there about Rikers Island, but <clears throat> you literally see um, correction officers allowing, some of them even setting up opportunities for uh, young men to be jumped by groups of other young men and they stand and watch this person being beaten almost to death before uh, they intercede. So it is definitely known for its uh, culture of violence and uh, definitely needs to be shut down. And plans put into motion, like not just on paper, to address the issues in the mental health uh, facet of crime and the poverty-stricken areas of that where people often resort to crime. All of these things need to be addressed and dealt with 
So today, a Mother's Cry is responding as we remember Khalif and continue in prayer for his family members um, who will have to live with this tragedy forever. And um, praying for other young men and women who are incarcerated at Rikers Island, that they will get the help that they need um, before it's too late. Also, we want to um, thank those who have, who are working to see that Rikers Island is closed down and are actively working um, to for justice reform and for prison reform. Um, for those who are advocating on whatever level, um, no matter how small or great, advocacy is extremely important. If you see injustice and you don't speak up, you just look at it and turn away. There is some guilt to be laid on your shoulders because you didn't say anything or do anything. We all have voices and we need to use them and to advocate for right. Again, I thank you for uh, tuning in to A Mother's Cry Responds and I solicit your support as we continue to try to advocate uh, for those who cannot advocate for themselves or um, to be a voice for those who are not being heard. This is my assignment and I do it proudly, even though some days I do it with a heavy heart. Um, I need your support and I solicit your prayers. Thank you. Have a great day.